Desertification and erosion in Kyrgyzstan are reinforced by non-sustainable human activity, such as excessive exploitation of lands, overgrazing and deforestation. As a result, more than 90% of the total agricultural land in the Republic are exposed to desertification. Small-scale agriculture prevails, and that's why it hinders introduction of proper agrotechnology. A project was implemented in the southern part of Kyrgyzstan, where due to high density of population, the question of land degradation is a burning issue. Sustainable use of resources results in highland slope stability. Vegetation cover such as wood, bushes and grass ensures stability of slopes and provides livestock fodder as well. Livestock is a traditional source of livelihood for Kyrgyz people, who had recently become settled. The problem of maintaining a balance between cattle breeding and conservation of slopes ecosystem stability is crucial. Kyrgyzstan is a medium-sized country with total area of 185,000 square kilometers. The total number of livestock in the country is about 7 million. Despite this, degradation of grazing land increases. For comparison, New Zealand, about the same size as Kyrgyzstan, has a number of livestock more than 40 million, but they do not experience problems with land degradation. Each year landslides take away people's lives, and thousands of families are forced to move to less dangerous areas. Gulja River Valley, where Sari Komish village is located, is one of the most dangerous landslides prone places of Kyrgyzstan. This is a typical eroded pasture nearby the village. One can see the remnants of the old trees and shrubs. Grass is scanty and unable to recover because of unsystematic cattle grazing. The overall objective of this project is to prevent land degradation and to preserve meadow and bush ecosystems around Sarekamish village through rehabilitation of grass cover, planting saplings of walnuts, almonds and red book species in an area of 40 hectares. As a result, protected area is not only used as pasture, but also provides additional resources such as haymaking, nuts and fruit, timber for construction, and brushwood for heating and cooking. One kilogram of walnut on markets of Kyrgyzstan costs about three dollars. More than half a thousand of nut saplings caught on in the protected area. Under the most unfavorable weather conditions, the income from the collection of these nuts is expected to reach about six thousand dollars annually in three years. Local apple poems due to natural taste, compete with imported fruit despite of low cost and more attractive appearance of imported products. Almonds are also in high demand. Its price reaches $7 per kilogram. Surely, implementation of the project would have been impossible without participation of all parts of the community, from children to elderly. Restored herbage is attractive also for beekeepers. Moving the bee garden to the project site was an unexpected initiative of local community done by own means. Simple fencing created conditions for providing additional sustainable resources on the same land plot, which had been used mostly as a grazing land only by local cattle breeders. Multi-use of plot resources is more economically effective comparing to grazing, not even mentioning benefits of environment sustainability. Conditions favorable for increasing productivity of both grazing land and grassland territories were created within this fenced area. For the last few years these households collected revenue from the fenced territory as follows. Grazing land between 22.5 to 30 tons of forage herbs. Grassland within 22.5 to 34.5 tons of hay. This increase of crop capacity of grazing land and grassland resulting from fencing 
allowed the rise of income of five households and the first features of their sustainable economic activity emerged. The process of setting up favorable conditions for growing and reproduction of wild flora and fauna species, including those which are registered in the Red Book, was launched at the same time.